Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, this is Andrew at Gongs Unlimited, Unlimited Singing Bowls, and we're doing a uh, another sound healing with our four Gongland number nine gongs. And we have four players here for each gong, and four people that are going to be getting uh, working with us and giving themselves healing with the help of sound. I want to be clear that we're not healing them. We are just creating a space for them as spirits, as souls, to heal themselves. And that's what's really important. Uh, we're just creating a space. And along the way, we're going to get healing. Me and the four players are going to get a healing, too. Um, today, we're um, going to be working on a uh, healing the chakra. At least one chakra, maybe more. Uh, you may have heard of the chakras. You probably all know about them because you've read about them on the internet or this or that. They are the energy centers where you as a spirit uh, connect to your bodies. And also, um, you bring things in that you might want to work on, might want to release. They're incredible, huge stores of energy. And I want to be clear to everyone that I know on the internet, there are very nice drawings of someone sitting in a lotus pose and they have all these Indian symbols on or all these different col one color per chakra that quite frankly, their chakras are many, many colors and have many, many layers. Uh, I think it was described to me once I've, I've seen more clearly is there's 12 layers to each chakra. And then within each of the 12 layers, there are 12 layers there. So you're looking at 144 layers of a chakra in a chakra. Now we're not going to look at each layer. I want you to have a life and we don't want to spend the next two years doing that. But I just want to tell you, that's how thick and full of energy the chakras are. And here's the funny part. And this is what's going to be interesting is we're going to be just kind of releasing energy that's not yours in a chakra. So I've seen people go, oh, this chakra is this color. And I go, I don't know. I see six different colors in that chakra and five of them aren't even your color. So... That's the great thing of starting to just increase your awareness. It's not that there's anything wrong in that. We're all walking around with different colors in our chakras and different energies. But increasing your awareness lets you start to discover, oh, I haven't been doing this because somebody left some energy in my chakra that said, don't do it. Or I haven't been feeling good about myself because I'm holding on to somebody else's not feeling good about themselves. And we're all sensitive people. I don't know if that was Marvin Gaye or Al Green, but remember this one? We're all sensitive people. I'm not going to sing for you, but we are. We're all sensitive spirit sense of souls in bodies. And so we all are reacting to energies. So just for a second, I'd like you at home and here, just get into a comfortable place. The people here have beaten you to that because they're already comfortable. And just let the sound start to say hello to your body. And just let your body start to relax a little. Just start to notice your body on the floor, on the chair, on the carpet, wherever you are. And just let it start to sink in to where it is. Notice your breath. allow yourself to get a little bit more oxygen into your body, into your brain. Now I want you, the four of you down there, to sort of imagine what's called a grounding cord. And what that is, is you want to look at the base of your spine. Your, it's your first chakra. The first chakra, it's the base of the spine. It has to deal with the body. And I want you just to imagine a line of energy connecting that first chakra to the center of the planet. You can imagine that line of energy like as big as your, your hips, a little maybe even a little wider than your body. And it's just a line of energy. You don't have to push to create it. You don't have to work hard to create it. You're just imagining it, let's say, with your mind. And allow it to hook into that first chakra and into the center of the planet. 
and allow it to start to release energy. That's what the grounding cord is. You're basically it's a garbage chute for energy that's not yours. Now don't worry, it's not going to take out any of you. You are going to stay there, but maybe you've picked up some stress from a job or maybe you're holding on to a problem from someone. Just let that go through. Maybe you have a uh, you're hungover or something. Just let that go through. And people playing the gongs, you can imagine this too when you're sitting down. Imagine your first chakra connected to the center of the planet. And for fun, imagine the gong itself connected. Give the gong an energy cord to the center of the planet. And you can just talk to the gong a little bit and say, hey, Allow good healing energy to be created. The healing energy that these four people and the people watching will need. Great. Now I want you, people in the front, while this ground, I want your grounding cord to be a little bit wider. Maybe, you know, maybe another foot. I want you to imagine whether or not you can see it, your aura, which is the energy field around you, tucking into this grounding cord. So we're going to do this kind of in a fun way. I want you to imagine your aura, the energy field around you, just like four or six inches around you. Bring it really tight. And normally it's not that tight around us. But imagine just, don't have to do effort, just go, my aura, I'm going to imagine it really close around my body. Maybe you notice it feels a little different. Then. Maybe you feel a little constricted. And I want you to imagine more like two feet around you. It's okay if you're next to someone. Auras can bump into each other. They're doing it all the time. But I want your aura to tuck in to the grounding cord behind you, in front of you, all around you. Basically, I want you to ground your whole aura and just let energy that's not yours release. And for fun, let's imagine one problem that you've been solving that's not your problem to go down that grounding cord. You don't even have to know what it is. Just maybe you can even put out your hand and just say, let it appear, where, hold up your hands and go, I want to feel the energy of that problem. I've got one right here, not my problem. Let it go down the grounding cord. And just let the sound help you do that. that's not yours. And if you're comfortable, you have to lay on your side, that's okay too. Now I want you to imagine yourself, your consciousness, your awareness, in one of the corners of the room up top. Just imagine yourself there. Just imagine yourself in the corner of the room. Just be there. That's all you have to do is just be there. And say hello to your body from the corner of the room. You are a spirit. You're not a body, so you can say hello to your body from the corner of the room. And then come back down and imagine yourself behind your eyes. And then go back up to the corner of the room. And now from the corner of the room, I want you to imagine a big gold sun of energy above your head. That's your energy. It's like... And not only your energy that's been you've been collecting everywhere, your life force energy, but imagine one very positive thing you want to have happen in your life in that golden ball of energy from the corner of the room. And then just allow that golden energy to fill your body. 
right to the top of your head. And then I want you to imagine yourself again behind your eyes, come back into the center of your head. And from there, I want you to imagine another gold ball of energy, but from inside your space, another beautiful golden ball of energy that has something that you really want to create in it. Take your time, just let it appear there, the energy of that thing, and bring it into your, through your top of your head, into your body. So what we did there was we released energy and then we filled up the spaces we released with our own good energy. We didn't bring somebody else's energy in. So if I'm releasing a problem, I w if I don't fill it up, there's a vacuum and another problem will fill it up. You did very good there. You guys have new energy starting to float in your body. So what is this thing they call chakras? What is this thing called a chakra? That's a good question. This energy center in your body, and we have about seven main ones in the body. There are many other little ones and things, and there are ones outside of this physical body, but it's an energy center. And I think, let's see which one we're going to clean out today. Uh, we're going to clean out the third chakra. Got a few fours and th the third chakra. Third chakra energy centers where we like to create a lot of stuff from. If you're trying to get stuff done and you keep hitting walls or things, you're going to be hitting that. It's kind of connected to the body a little bit. It's where we go in and out of when we go in our astral body and dream. It's kind of, um, it's above your belly button. It's sort of, but below your fourth chakra, your heart, it's right in the center there, your solar plexus, I believe the term is also called. The Indian Hindu people have another name for it. I'm just going to call it our third chakra because I don't speak ancient Sanskrit. And I, guys, I want you just to say hello to it. And I want you first to be, imagine yourself behind your eyes. And then I want you to just kind of take the elevator down to the third chakra and just allow your attention to be there. And just notice what you experience in your third chakra. Does it seem familiar? Like, oh, I'm in my third chakra a lot of the day. Or does it seem like, ugh, I don't like this. Or, oh, there's no right or wrong. Just what do you experience in your third chakra? Now go back up behind your eyes. That's where you're going to do most of this work from. You don't do it in the third chakra. And I want you to say from behind your eyes, like say to her, hey, third chakra, I'm going to clean you out now a little. So I want you to imagine uh, like about five or six feet above you. Still, you're in your body. Five or six feet. I want you to imagine a beautiful rose. Imagine, take a second, whatever color you want, it could be clear, whatever, whatever color it is, just imagine a beautiful, strong, vibrant rose. And I want you to, to imbue this rose, I want you to give this rose the quality of being a magnet. It's a beautiful magnet. And I want you to tell that magnet to take out one piece of energy that's not yours from your third chakra. And just let it fly up there. One piece that's not you, that's been bothering you maybe. Maybe you notice what's going on, maybe you don't. But it's not you. Say hello to the fact that that energy is not me. And I want you to bring it down, that rose, and have it go into your hand so you can feel it. You can move your hand to allow the rose to go in your hand. And Feel it. Notice what you feel. Does that energy that's not you feel familiar or look familiar? There is. Now you say, say, hey, you're not me. And just imagine that rose going out of the building and just exploding and dissolving.
you've actually released some energy. Now I want you to imagine a rose right in front of your third chakra, right there in front of that solar plexus rose, and just say, be a magnet and take out another piece of energy that's not mine, that's keeping my third chakra from being healthy, from letting me achieve what I want to do, let me do what I want to do, let me be who I want to be. And when it's cleaned out, allow it to explode. Now the chakras, many of them have a front and a back, not all of them. So I want you to imagine underneath you, where you're lying, another rose in the back of your third chakra and allow it to appear there. It's a magnet rose and it's going to pull out one thing from the back of your chakra that you hadn't seen. The funny thing about if someone wants to control you, but they don't want to know that they don't want you to know that you're the control use, they're going to go to the back of your chakras because you're not going to be fully aware of them all the time. That's just a note for any chakra. But I want you guys, maybe there's someone back there who's trying to stop you from doing something. Just allow that rose to take that out and explode. And do it again. Really give yourself some space. Yeah. Now, after you do that a couple of times, I want you to imagine a color that you like for the energy of forgiveness. Forgive this person for doing it. You don't have to have a battle with this person or this energy or yourself. And I want you to imagine a beautiful, like golden rainbow or colorful rainbow of forgiveness going through your aura, going into your third chakra. And just let the forgiveness go so you can really open that space again. Just let it all go in and forgive. And I'm going to let the guys playing the gongs now help create the energy of forgiveness in this space for that. Just energy you're holding on to that might have been a fight with that energy a struggle with somebody trying to not let you do what you want to do, trying to stop your free will, trying to control you. Allow the energy of forgiveness to go through there. Because once you forgive them, you don't have to be fighting them anymore. the interesting thing when you clean out a chakra is it relates to your aura too. Your third chakra is related to your third aura, third layer of your aura. So I want you guys, remember when you grounded your auras at the beginning? I want you to allow that grounding cord to connect to the third layer of your aura and let some energy come out from there too. Let the any residual energy that was tied into that come out. So maybe you move some black or purple energy out of your third chakra. Maybe there's something holding that was holding onto it in your aura. Yeah, let that out. Oh man, things are really getting high now. It's getting good. Good work, guys. I want you to notice some of the energy that's coming into the room, which is a very high energy. It's a very beautiful kind of angelic healing energy. And it's going to help you with this because it's kind of going, all of you are kind of actually taking a step to create something that you've wanted to create in your life by cleaning this out, but it's, they're going to help you. So 
there's angelic help all around. And these are some very nice healing guides that are now coming. Maybe you'll notice it. Notice if you experience this in your body or your mind or your energy, your aura, if you're experiencing that. There's a lot of very strong, let me help you energy is what I kind of say. All sorts of blocks coming out. And now we're going to do one more thing. I want you to say hello to your crown chakra which is on the top of your head that's where you bring in spiritual energy and information and i want you to put one rose by their magnet rose again that takes out one block that keeps you from bringing in what you want to do one block you don't have to fix your entire chakra but chakras are related to each other they don't exist in a vacuum so sometimes I'll see a third chakra, but it's connected to it's stuck in a four, fifth chakra, connected to the fourth. All these things interrelate. They're not separate little units. So we're going to just take out one right here from the crown chakra. And basically the energy of says you can't create what you want to create. That's a lie. But you might got picked up when you were a child. Kindergarten teacher might have said, you can't do that. Might have picked it up in a youth group at church. They said, you can't do that. Only be this way. Might have picked it up from a parent, from a grandparent, from a family spirit, all sorts of things. But just take out one and imagine that rose going out above the building and just exploding. There. You can do it again too if you want to pick another one. And now I want you to imagine above your head another beautiful gold sun of your energy. And in that energy, something that you've really wanted to start to create, something you wanted to do, something you wanted to have that you felt like, oh, there are too, too many blocks can't do it and now in that they remove that lie out of your crown chakra I want you to go through your crown chakra and fill up your third chakra where we've cleaned all it out you're going to replenish your third chakra with that which you want to create I'm really cooking these guys say they've never really done this before so if it looks like I'm sitting in front of a bowl of steamed dumplings, that's what's going on. Um, and then I'm looking at all my gong players. You guys take a sec and just for your sec, imagine yourself having a little rose outside and just taking out all your kind of leftover things that get charged up and allow that to release and explode. And when you guys start playing the gong again, allow yourself to bring in your gold energy, allow the sound of the gong to help you bring in your gold thing of what you want to create. Because as I mentioned before, when you're in a healing space, maybe working on some people, but everyone around is going to get a healing too. I'm getting a healing talking about it. They're doing the work. Everyone here is getting healing. And if you're watching this and kind of going along with it, going along with the energy work, you're going to start to get a healing too. And we could have done any chakras. I just picked third. And I kept it really simple. I could sit there and go, okay, we'd still clean out the fourth. We'd still, it's just a really simple way of releasing the stuff and bringing in what you want. If you were concerned about your fourth chakra and how you relate to people, how you judge people, how you have relationships, how you don't, you could do this for your fourth chakra. If you're having problems with communicating or creating fifth chakra, seeing or thinking sixth chakra, if you're having real problems with survival issues, like can't keep an apartment, keep getting kicked out, whatever it is, clean out your first chakra emotions second chakra all of them they're all related 
we just worked on one today. And these people have never even really ever done this before. So they may have reactions like, I didn't experience anything. Maybe I did. Maybe I, I don't know. But I can look at them and just kind of go, this person got what they want. This person has got a whole new insight. That person's very happy. Um, this one's still figuring out. It's all good. It's all good. There's no right or wrong. You don't get a pass or grading on it, anything. And we're going to finish this one up today. And I'm going to be quiet in a moment. We're just going to let um, kind of a really nice high Christ force energy and some of the energy that Jesus used when he was healing, a very Christ force energy, kind of come down and heal the gong players, heal the people here, heal the video guys, sound guys, and me. So just kind of said, heal you if you ask for it there at home. So I'm just going to be shush and we're going to finish today with a really nice kind of Christ force, removing pain and healing and taking the next step. Everyone here has done a really great job. I'm looking at everyone really kind of very smooth and their auras are solid. They got a really good healing. If I take a look at our, all of our uh, gong players are in a, a growth, spiritual growth period themselves for being part of that. And uh, yeah, everyone did a real good job. Even if it just looks like they're laying down there doing nothing, they were doing a lot of spiritual work. So Physical looks can be deceiving. Um, I want to thank you and uh, bless you for watching and bless everyone here. And not my, not me doing the blessing, but the divine source giving us all a blessing for participating here on this planet at this time doing this. Take care.